My name is Annette Desiree de Dios. I've lived in Fresno my whole life. Well, I found out I had asthma when I was around six or eight years old. I'll start to feel tightening in my chest. Sometimes it feels like a sharp pain, and then I'll you know, start wheezing, and it, it feels like it's difficult for air to get through my chest. You know, I have to breathe harder, and you, know, you can hear the wheezing, and it's just very uncomfortable, and, and it feels like I'm being suffocated. My name is Lena Melissa Mendoza. I've lived in the Valley since um, 1993. I have allergy-induced asthma. If there's any kind of pollutants in the air or any um, extreme weather, such as heat or cold, then, it's, then it and kicks in my allergies and that therefore will kick in my asthma. Allergy before asthma that will occur. My name is Jamie Holt, and I'm the Chief Communications Officer with the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District. We have a real challenge here in the valley because we are surrounded by mountains. We live in what's often called a bowl, has a lid on top of it, which is this inversion layer that is um, mentioned periodically. Uh, we have a Mediterranean climate, which is notorious for uh, heating up our pollution and trapping it here in the valley. We don't have a lot of storms or high winds that can help move the pollution out of the valley. There are two pollutants that we are most concerned with. During the summer, we'll see high levels of ozone. And during the winter, we'll see high levels of our particulate matter. What we're finding is that there actually is not a direct causal link between cases of asthma and poor air quality, at least poor air quality when it comes to what we call the National Ambient Air Quality Standards. That's ozone, that's PM. Having said that, we do see a direct link between asthma attacks in poor air quality. So while you may not get asthma because you live in the valley, there's a pretty good chance that if you have asthma, you're gonna battle with it a lot more than you would if you lived in a different part of the, the nation that was you know, a little bit cleaner. I'm an avid runner as well as I'm training in the gym and that um, is approved by my doctor and I, that's one way for me to gauge um, how strong my lungs are. Um, everybody's different and so for me it's um, physical fitness that helps me maintain and um, to strengthen my lungs. There's no magic bullet. Um, there's no one thing that if everyone did it we would uh, have clean air here in the valley. The number one thing that we tell folks if they're looking to help clean up air here in the San Joaquin Valley, just get out of your car. That's, uh, that's an easy, uh, easy thing for people to process. They understand that actually doing it is really difficult for people. 